Hi everyone and welcome to my Gold Arts Award YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be explaining what the Gold Arts Award actually is and what my plans are for it. This video is just going to be brief, I'm not going to go into major detail in each of the sections as further along the line I am going to do individual videos on each section. The Gold Arts Award is a level 3 qualification that you take when you're 16 plus. It is optional to take alongside your other qualifications as well. You can present your work in any way, shape or form. You can do a YouTube channel like I'm doing, you can do scrapbooks, you can do it all in Word, you can do voice recordings, you can do whatever you want to your choice. Now I'm going to show the ways that I'm going to be presenting my work. I've chosen to do a combination of these ways. In this YouTube channel, I will be showing little videos, little rehearsals, talking about my process and somewhere where I can explain what I'm doing as I personally find it easier to explain through talking than in writing. Alongside this though, I will also be doing scrapbooks. So these are my scrapbooks that I have chosen to use. If we take a quick look into my unit one scrapbook, we'll find um, lots of different types of scrapbooking about all the information that I have found. Unit two, I have the same, a lot of unit two is planning. So I have been um, planning out and talking about what I'm gonna do in my project. Now I'm gonna be talking about what I plan to do in each section of the project. So there are two units. Unit one is split into A, B, C, and D, and unit two is split into A, B, C, D, and E. In unit one, part A, you get to explore a new skill to add onto your already existing skill. The skill that I have at the moment is singing. I have been performing for a really long time with singing. I've been doing competitions, but I'm very new to dance and I've chosen to learn how to do ballet. Without the coronavirus, I probably would be taking classes um, in real life and exploring my options in real life. But because of corona, I do have to make some changes. I will be talking about how coronavirus has affected my project in another video. As I have chosen ballet to learn, I wanted to scrapbook every single moment that I had. So I'm using a smaller scrapbook to that just focuses on ballet. And in this, I talk about what I'm learning that week, show photos of my rehearsals and how that will help me in the future. Part B is when you look into different types of careers in the arts sector and how to get involved in them. I've looked at many different musical theatre universities, including Bird, Erdang, Mount View, and Trinity Laban. Another section in part B is going to explore workshops. Now, obviously, because of coronavirus, we can't do workshops in person, but there's been so many opportunities online that I have found at the moment. I will also be doing another video on what workshops I've been doing. With part C, you have to talk about your interviews with practitioners. This is when you really go out into the real world. Um, for example, I would go to London and see West End shows and maybe get an interview with one of the performers and learn about their life and how they got the career that they are doing at the moment. In part D, you talk about an art issue. You debate it, you do a PowerPoint presentation on it. I've already completed this part and I did a PowerPoint presentation on the question, are performing arts important in education? Which I found very interesting debates on. One thing I learned about gold art is the fact that you can't do unit one and then unit two. You have to do it side by side because otherwise you'll run out of time and you can't go part A, part B, part C because it may not work out like that for you. Unit two is when you take charge and you become the boss. Because I love musicals so much, I've decided to put on a production of Grease, the famous Broadway musical. I take a musical theatre level three B tech and a lot of my classmates have agreed to take part in this. So it wasn't exactly that hard for me to find the people that I needed to perform in it. I've got a smaller cast around 10 to 11 people and I will be playing Patty Simcox in it. I started rehearsals in November and hope that we perform it at the end of April to the start of May. Obviously, I didn't know in November that we were gonna go into a third national lockdown. So I will have to make alterations to my plan because I have not been able to do rehearsals. I started Gold Arts Award in October. So this is my fifth month doing it. 
but because of the circumstances, the process is being a lot slower than it normally would be. One thing I've definitely learned already is take notes and everything. What I've been doing is in this book, I've been taking all my notes, all my planning, also doing voice notes in any different idea that you have on the spot so you can remember it for a later time. That's gonna end my video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you learned a bit about Gold Arts Award and I hope you're interested enough to watch the rest of my journey in Gold Arts Award. I will be talking about my process in learning ballet because this is completely new to me. And I'll be talking about different workshops I've been doing, different universities, talking about my arts issue, and also, of course, my journey in directing the production of Greece. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.